the beginning of January, I noticed that my most recent professional brand photos are kind of more than two years old now, and I really need some new ones. But with me about to leave on a two month long trip abroad and all my photographer friends busy, I thought this is the perfect opportunity to challenge myself to do my own brand photo shoot. So I've booked some time at a local studio. I've packed up all my tripods, lenses, and my camera and a couple different outfit options. And we're gonna attempt this crazy self portrait branding session together. Hopefully I have something usable by the end of it, or at the very least a new profile picture for YouTube. So originally I was only gonna have one hour in the studio, but I chickened out yesterday and emailed them and asked if I could have an additional hour because I think this is gonna be a lot to do. But even still, with only two hours in the studio, I need to have a solid plan of what I'm trying to shoot. So I already have some photos of the space from the studio. It's called the Sunday Studio, by the way. I'll leave the information in the description if you happen to be local and wanna check it out. So I know what it looks like and I know what kind of scenes are already set up there and I'm definitely gonna use what's already in place. But I think for any good photo shoot, it's important to make a mood board to plan out your vision and have some poses to reference, especially because I'm gonna be shooting my own photos. I don't have a photographer to direct me, so I'm gonna to need to look at this to know what to do. So I pretty recently discovered this cool app called Milanote, um, and basically it's just like a mood boarding app. You can like clip images from like Pinterest or like wherever else online and kind of gather your inspo. So that's what I've done here. Some of these photos are actually from the space. Um, these are just kind of like quick little screenshots that I took to remind myself what the different sets look like. And then you can see I've also pulled some images from Pinterest by just literally searching like brand photo shoot 2023 to see what different poses I might wanna do. I've just thrown my like colors and my gear list on here as well. And then over here, I've got my outfits that I've planned out. As you might be able to tell, I'm wearing one already. But I just picked out outfits that are pretty neutral, fit with my brand colors, and are also like easy to change into and comfortable to shoot photos in because I'm not only gonna be modeling but also operating the camera. But let's face it, pretty much everything that I own would be suitable for that because I don't really wear anything that I couldn't shoot photos in. But anyway, this is the plan. So I've got some poses in mind. I know what my backdrops are. So once I get there, I can choose a scene, choose a couple poses and just start shooting right away and hopefully make the most of my time. All right, let's pack my gear bag. This is my favorite backpack for taking my camera gear anywhere. It's a peak design bag. I'll link it in the description if you want, but uh, let's fill this baby up with some lenses and a camera body. The camera that I'm shooting on today is the Sony a6600. This is just like a really nice crop sensor camera from Sony, but this is actually gonna be this camera swan song because I am getting a new Sony camera very soon. So let me know in the comments if you wanna hear more about that. First up, we got my Sigma 16 millimeter F 1.4, just a nice prime kind of wide angle lens. Then I've got another prime lens. This is a Sigma 30 millimeter F 1.4. So those are just great for getting that nice blurry background. And I'm also gonna bring my like all purpose general lens, which is just the Sony 18 to 105 f4 might not use this one as much unless depending on space constraints i need to like get some different uh focal lengths then i've got a handy dandy pouch full of batteries this is batteries for the a6600 and also my sony zv1 which i'm also bringing i'm filming on it right now um so that i can show you what i'm up to i'm also bringing this vastar phone mount um just pretty basic, but I've got a Peak Design quick release clip on the bottom so that I can easily put it on my Peak Design tripod. Here's the deal. I wanna get like that cutesy BTS footage, you know, that you see on reels where it's like, clearly this girly is having her brand photo shoot done and this is like a cute behind the scenes video. But here's the thing, I need to use my phone as the shutter release for my camera. Like I'm gonna be using the Sony app in order to take the photos of myself. So I can't also be filming myself taking the photos of myself on my phone while I take the photos of myself. So I'm gonna fake the behind the scenes footage and I'm just gonna put my phone on my tripod and pretend to pose for the camera that's out of frame. Um, that's the plan. Oh, and speaking of tripods, I'm also bringing my Manfrotto little tripod that I currently got this camera on again so that I can show you what I'm doing. I'm also gonna bring these Comica lav mics. I don't know if I'll use this or not. It'll just depend if I need to talk to you and the camera's really far away and the audio is bad, then I'll clip one of these on. I'm also bringing my laptop so I can reference the mood board. And finally, I've got my tote bag full of my other outfits. And 
a water bottle because this is thirsty work. And I'm also bringing deodorant because I feel like I'm gonna get sweaty trying to do this. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous that this is not gonna go well, but let's go, let's head to the studio. Welcome to the Sunday studio. I am so excited to start shooting in this space. The clock starts now. I've got my gear set up. I've got my outfit changes laid out and uh, we just need to start shooting some photos. So I'm gonna take a look at that mood board and figure out where to start. So after taking another quick glance at my mood board for inspo, I'm heading over to the couch for my first set to uh, shoot my first outfit in the black silk top. So here you can see the app that I'm using to remotely trigger my camera. It's called Sony Imaging Edge and honestly it's a little bit laggy and glitchy, but it gets the job done and the nice thing is you can see what your photos look like without having to like run up and go take a look at your last picture on the back of your camera. Like before I started using this app, I would put my camera on like a 10 second timer and then I would run into the shot and then after the shutter went off, I would run back out and go look at what the you know the display on the back of my camera but with this I can see as I am changing my pose what it's looking like so that makes it way easier so as I'm taking my photos I basically look at the display on my phone to figure out where I should be in the frame what position my arms and legs look good in and then once that's sorted out I just press the shutter button on the app and then I quickly hide my phone or in some cases, I use it as a prop, which makes it really convenient. Uh, but in whatever case, I do that, and then I will kind of just change my face and do like different facial expressions. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with how these are turning out so far. I'm gonna do a quick check looking on the camera. I think they're looking good. We just gotta do like a bunch more. Um, but okay, yeah, it's working. Yeah, let's do this. I also like to get as much variety out of each setup as possible, so since I got a nice wide vertical shot, now I'm bringing the camera in closer to get something more up close and personal. So for both of these setups so far, I have been using my Sigma 16mm f1.4. Okay, so far so good. We are at a half an hour in, and I feel like I'm finally getting into a groove, so that's great. Um, I wanna do a few more with this backdrop and this outfit, and I'm realizing I should probably get some horizontal ones, especially for like my website. It's not all just for Instagram, so going into horizontal mode, and we're gonna do some wider ones with this couch now. super happy with how these are looking. So I think I'm going to switch up my outfit, switch up my location and um, do some more pics. I feel like I've got some good stuff here. So yay. A few quick tips off the top of my head for doing your own self portraits, like stuff that I have just kind of gotten used to over the years of doing this. That's now like second nature. For one, this app that I'm using, when I hit the shutter, which is on a two second timer, so it gives me two seconds to hide my phone, look up at the camera. I try to make eye contact with the lens while I press the shutter button, because that just means that the autofocus is gonna lock onto my face. And that's how I know that I'm gonna be in focus. Second thing, I know that I have a tendency to lift my head up too high because I'm trying to like find my light, but then it ends up looking awkward. So I always kind of look up in the direction that I think I'm going to, and then I remind myself to lower my chin. Third thing, speaking of the chin, I kind of have this trick that I use for um, getting a little bit more of a chiseled jawline, which is not necessary. We love a soft jawline queen, okay? No pressure to, to do that, but I just kind of lift my tongue to the roof of my mouth and like suck in. So I hold my breath when the, the shutter is actually going off. So basically it goes from this to this. You can see a little bit of a little bit of definition there. That's what I like to do. Now I'm interrupting the regularly scheduled photo programming for a brief vertical video interlude. So this is what I was talking about before. I'm essentially setting up the fake behind the scenes camera here, and I'm just gonna go and pose for a little bit. Here's my hot tip. If you are filming vertical B-roll like this for reels or TikTok or whatever, film it in 60 frames per second. Because then when you go to post it as a reel, you actually have the option to set it at 0.5 times speed, and you'll still have really nice and smooth B-roll. 
I'll be honest, this does feel a bit goofy in the moment, but I know that it'll be worth it later when I want to create like quote reels or even have some stock footage to show in my stories. Now that we've got a few good vertical clips saved, it's back to taking some photos. I think it'd be cute to get a shot of me kind of walking towards the camera-ish from back at the desk, but that means I'm just gonna repeat the same fake walking motion over and over again, you'll see. This is classic for getting a walking shot. It wouldn't be practical for me to actually walk since I have the camera framed for exactly one spot where I want to be in the frame. So I'll just kind of rock back and forth and make it look like I'm walking so that I make sure that I'm actually in the right position that I want when the shutter goes off. I don't know how I feel about any of those. Okay, I think it's just about time to switch from the wide angle lens to the portrait lens and get a few cute portraits. But first I wanna do one of those like slow shutter walking shots and I'm gonna do it in front of this wall. But there's a backside to this wall and I think that's the color I want. So then I tried again and again and did not really get anything that looked at all good to be honest. The timing was really hard and I felt like the background ended up being kind of too cramped for the style I was really going for. So I ended up switching to shooting the same concept but in front of the windows. And while it didn't turn out exactly like my inspo photo, I still think it has a pretty cool effect. I knew I wanted to get a profile picture, so I tried out a couple of pretty standard headshots here. I liked having the plant in the background just to give it a pop of color, and then also you can see like just the top of the couch in some of the shots as well, so it just gives a little bit more texture. Finally, I changed into one last quick outfit to do some shots in front of the faux like mantle here, and I ended up probably liking these ones honestly the most out of all of them. I thought this outfit was really cute. Okay, as expected, I probably pushed things too long already. I have exactly 10 minutes until the end of my booking. I need to change back into normal clothes and pack up the entire studio, so wish me luck. All right, and that is exactly two hours done. And I think I got like at least five solid photos out of that, but... We'll find out, I gotta go home and edit them. So it's been a few days since my shoot over at the Sunday studio and I've been working away at editing my images and I'm super happy with how they turned out. Honestly, I was pretty nervous in the moment that like things weren't gonna go well, but I feel like I've got a really solid little group of photos here. I feel like I definitely have some good options for updating my website, a few that I can post as just like feed posts on Instagram here and there. And I've actually already updated my YouTube channel. So I've got a new profile picture. That was a big goal because my old profile picture kind of needed a refresh. So I've updated that across Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And I updated my channel banner to be a photo of me, that kind of wide shot of me sitting on the couch. I even was able to get a few B-roll clips on my phone, not quite as many as I was hoping for, but in the amount of time that I had, I think I did pretty well to get just a few kind of like B-roll shots of me posing. So it kind of looks like behind the scenes and I don't think anybody's ever gonna know that it was uh, kind of fake behind the scenes. So those clips will be pretty good for creating like quote reels. So just like adding some text over top and maybe even some story posts here and there. Overall, I'm super happy with the results and I hope you had fun coming along with me. I feel like doing this challenge just really proves that you can get really great brand photos of yourself if you like get creative. Don't get me wrong, it definitely takes hard work and it was stressful during parts of it and you do need like, and you do need some different gear or at least some like apps on your phone to, you know, be able to take photos of yourself. But I think it's so worth it and I really enjoyed the process. If you wanna see more videos like this where I take you along on a self-portrait shoot, let me know because I had a lot of fun making this. Or if you want any more tips about the process of taking your own photos, 
let me know and I can make a follow-up video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one and I hope that you're having adventures and following your dreams and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.